I'm not an animator, so let me talk to you about idle animations. <laughs> idle animations are the sweet, cute, and cool things that your character does while the player is not touching the controller. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen your fair share of idle animations as you come back to your game after checking your phone, taking out the trash, <laughs> dropping the kids off at the pool, getting yelled at by your mom, <laughs> etc. Before we move on though, let me illustrate what a character looks like with and without an idle animation. As you can see, one is fun and the other is less fun. Um, despite my poor example, I, I hope you get the picture. I think idle animations are so freaking cool, yet they are often overlooked. Uh, you know, for obvious reasons, probably because you're actually touching the controller and playing the game, you know? And with this said, I just want to showcase some of my favorite idle animations and... I don't know, just... Just take some time to appreciate them, you know? <laughs> idle animations are not only cute and fun to look at, but they provide a certain depth of personality to the characters in the game. And who needs more personality than first person shooter characters, am I right, folks? <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, it is harder to find emotion in a character that you can't totally see. But some games switch this up with some neat first person idle animations, like Halo 3 and Master Chief as he examines his various weapons. I especially love when he is holding Covenant weapons because he's probably thinking, Man, what the heck does this thing do? <laughs> what? <laughs> and Call of Duty has similar gun action. But I imagine the dude holding the gun is like, <laughs> You know, we've talked about first person shooters, but let's shift gears and switch to third person character animations. So idle animations in third person, serve the same purpose that they do in first person, but there's a lot more to work with, you know, because you can actually see the whole character this time. So with this comes even more personality and more depth. And idle animations can be utilized on both voiced and silent protagonists. That difference doesn't take away the effect that idle animations can have on a character's personality. And the list of unique idle animations are endless, honestly, but I'm gonna try and cover some of my favorites. Um, Rayman 2 literally dribbling his torso. <laughs> Sly Cooper scratching his back with his cane. Um, Banjo and Kazooie literally beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> Nico Bellic adjusting his pants. <laughs> Leon Kennedy wincing in pain as he has low health. Young Link in his... He literally falls asleep on the toilet in Skyward Sword. Nintendo, for some reason, loves making their characters take naps. Mario has fallen asleep in literally every single 3D Mario game that I can remember. I love how in Mario 64, he actually, you can hear him dreaming about pasta. 1990. Ah, spaghetti. And Nintendo has just continued to knock it out of the park with idle animations with both Mario and Link and their two most recent releases. The attention to detail is is just cool. I, I don't know, I love the idle animations in Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. And the attention to detail in idle animations is not only present in 3D games, but in 2D games as well. And when it comes to 2D idle animations, Donkey Kong Country just Oof, it's real, it's real good. I don't know why, but I feel actual joy watching Diddy and Dixie just chilling in Donkey Kong Country 2. You know, from the juggling to the, you know, to Dixie chewing on her bubble gum. These animations just illustrated and told me as a kid that these characters were cool. They were, they were the cool kids on the block, you know? And I wanted to be friends with them. <laughs> You now speaking of 2D idle animations, they are absolutely essential in fighting games. Fighting games would lose so much of their charm and flow if there were no idle animations. Like, could you even imagine a fighting game without idle animations? With that said, I want to focus on the word flow. Fighting games live off of fluid and cohesive animations, and idle animations are included in this. So if you have a character that is completely static and not moving, go to just beating the complete crap out of somebody with wild animations, that would look super funky and super weird. And, you know, 
idle animations add to that functionality of flow. And functionality aside, fighting game idle animations just have so much personality to them. And, you know, this is clearly illustrated in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I could talk about a whole ton of fighting games, you know, Street Fighter, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Mortal Kombat, but, you know, for the sake of time, I'm gonna focus on Super Smash Bros. idle animations. Mario bouncing around and adjusting his cap is just so energetic, and it's so sick. Like, he, you know he, you know he's gonna spike you. And I love Samus just slyly gazing at her gun. Very cool. I, <laughs> I love Fox and his sass. I don't know where he gets it, but it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, all the idle animations in Smash are just great. You know, although some might be a little bit, you know, less energetic than others, all around they add spice to the game. And that's what I love about idle animations. It's, it's the spice, it's the flavor, it's the personality that they add, you know, to the video games that they inhabit. From first person shooters to fighting games, to, you know, 2D side-scrollers, idle animations, you know, liven up the characters in the video games that they're in. And I love them so much for it. You know, although they may seem small and almost meaningless in the grand scope of the game, they add that much more to the game. I love them. What can I say? I'm not an animator. But I love me some idle animations. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I'm obviously not an animator, I said that like a thousand times in my video, but thank you for allowing me to dabble and share my love a little bit with you guys. Um, so I've been playing Persona 5 for the first time. I mean, maybe you picked up on that, I don't know, because I've I used like five songs from that game in this video. And if you haven't played it, you should play it. It's, it's very incredible, it's a very good video game. <laughs> okay.